Hello, welcome to a new reaction video. My name is Larissa and today I'm going to react to the new Masters of the Air episode. After this one, we already get the finale. I feel like this went so fast. And I want to tell you that if you want early access to the finale next week, you can check out my Patreon links in the description. Uh, and you can also see my full reactions on there under the uncut reactions tier. So the last episode, we had the pretty interesting storyline from Buck and uh, Egan. So I'm very much looking forward to that. We also saw Quinn returned. Um, First, I thought we were gonna like see this whole storyline being finished and all, and uh, then suddenly he was just back. But yeah, okay, nice that he's back. I also think I talked about that the time jumps were like really big and that you barely noticed that un until they suddenly say like, oh yeah, he just did his 24th mission. And I'm like, what the hell? But he just got there. Um, and I think some people in the comments said that I think the plan was to like, um, yeah, shoot more, but that didn't fit in the episode, so they just did it with time jumps or something. I'm not sure. I didn't fact check anything, but yeah, I, I read that in my comments. Also, what I want to address, and I think the people who concerns this know this is about them. If you can't handle someone who is not a man reacting to a World War II show, you don't have to watch my reactions. It's funny because I said this in my Walking Dead video last week too, but there it was just men who thought I didn't understand the show. Uh, with this show, it's just like, I really noticed that there are certain men here who just can't handle me giving an opinion on a war show. I mean, if you don't like that, that's totally fine, but I'm honestly just wondering why you're watching my videos. I'm pretty sure there's also a lot of male reactors reacting to Masters of the Air. I think if you like that better, it's better to invest your time in that. Because what I notice right now is that I am trying to make a point here. And the point is here and everyone just completely misses the point and they're all here. Because of course I'm not gonna like get too much into detail, uh, but I gave my opinion on all the female characters having to have sex with men and never being there for their own achievements. I thought I explained that pretty clear, uh, but I uploaded the video and I saw some comments about that. I had like some pretty respectful just like discussions about this. Nothing wrong, even though I already noticed that a lot of people kind of missed the whole point. Um, then I had to re-upload the video because of a copyright claim and I was like, yeah, okay, but now those like discussions are not in the comments anymore. I'll just explain myself once more with a comment and pin the comment. I honestly don't think I could have been more clear than like explain it fully in the video and then explain it again in the comments. And people still miss the entire point. So that really shows to me like you're not listening to anything I'm saying you hear like, oh, man, woman, sex, wrong. So then if you're gonna say like, no, but I need to have sex um, because they're in a war and you have no idea what it's like to be in a war and you don't get it and it's so easy for you to say, then I realize you just completely missed the point because that is literally not what I, yeah, was talking about. <laughs> so I just wanna suggest, like I said, if you can't handle me giving an opinion on a show like this, don't watch it. If you still want to watch it, maybe listen to what I'm saying before commenting. I think that will make it a lot easier for both of us. Um, so yeah, just wanted to have that sat. And um, about the whole thing, I'm not going to explain it again. If you really feel like you need to understand it, it's very easy to just go back to my previous video. Listen to what I have to say again. Take it in. Maybe if you still don't understand it, read the pinned comment. I think it should be pretty clear then what I mean. And if you then still don't understand it, uh, I don't think the problem is with me. I think the problem is then within yourself and you should like kind of look inside like, hey, what is going wrong here? So that's just something I wanted to have said. I do want to say one more thing before I start. Like Sandra, she's kind of being mysterious about her whole job and all. And I do hope we're gonna find out more about that. I did, by the way, hear that uh, Sandra and uh, what was his name, Crosby, that they did uh, have sex in real life. So I'm like, okay, sure. It's good that it's portrayed like that then. But I'm just hoping for like an interesting reveal from her side that like the character actually makes sense in the show and it's not just like, oh yeah, and this is the woman cross we had sex with. So I'm kind of hoping for that, but I think we have to see that soon because there's only two episodes left. I think that's like the biggest mystery right now. I think a lot of people know because they just know probably like the real history, uh, but I'm just like, I'm gonna let the show surprise me. I have no idea what she's doing, uh, but I am very curious about it. I'm also very curious about Bog and Egan. Last episode, of course, they were talking about an escape plan, uh, but then like, I think, 80 men or even more, uh, they tried to escape and 50 or something got retrieved. And no, I think most of them got retrieved and 50 got shot or something. And I think that made them realize like, okay, yeah, it is a really big risk. So 
I'm wondering what they're gonna do. Are they just gonna like stay there, wait the war out? Because I, I don't really see that happening, but yeah, we'll just have to see. With all of that information given, it was a bit of a longer intro than normally. Uh, I'm just gonna watch this episode and I'm very excited. So let's watch it. While the 8th Air Force was hitting the Germans from bases in England, 15th Air Force was striking at them from bases in Italy. The 99th Pursuit Squadron was part of that effort. One minute, six seconds away from Quint Foxtrot. I feel like one of them is Eric from Sex Education, because I know we were finally gonna see him now. Is he like drawing the shadow? <laughs> so now we're just randomly seeing another division. Ah, <laughs> well, he was actually drawing that. That's funny. When are we gonna get into some heavier action? There is some talk of us joining up with the 332nd Fighter Group and doing missions further into Europe. Mm. Sure. Relax. Enjoy. I know. It's just hard when you know, some of our guys are already out there. I get that it's weird to like celebrate when indeed other people from your division are out there or like but i just did randomly see him one time but i hope we're gonna see more of him right i think so he's a pretty big actor right didn't he even play in doctor who like the new one you okay major yeah why wouldn't i be okay just asking you're just asking i'm great i've been here for eight months now eight so months fast. okay i'm glad they're at least like sometimes giving us an indication of how long something has been I mean, you also see the, the years and the months, but to be fair, you take that in and then you kind of forget. What are we waiting for? We all think something's gonna happen. Maybe we need to make it happen. Like those Brits did. Go and get executed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they're literally yeah, like standing there with a gun. I mean, it's 1944 now. June 3rd. June 3rd. Three days to D-Day. Yeah, so we're pretty far into the war now. Our job was to bomb the German defenses in Normandy only minutes before the landing craft hit the beaches. About 200 missions in total. The second breakfast on the second day, that's when the fight starts. I tried contacting Sandra whenever I had a break. Oh, are we finally gonna see more of her? It was like she vanished. Hmm, huh. what is she doing in France? Okay. This reminds me of uh, Patrick Wilson's character in the one movie. Was that Midway? Yeah, it was Midway, right? I think she's really like doing something important. Otherwise, you don't have to be so secret about it. Like, maybe for once we are actually seeing a woman who's doing her own thing, doing good things in the war. 60 hours. Your mind starts playing tricks on you. You can hear that, right? What? <laughs> it's going crazy. You can't work for 60 hours. It's like sleep deprived. <laughs> the lack of sleep, the coffee, the uppers, the stress, that's a drug in itself. Mm hmm. Good job. Jean will brief you on your assignment. You need to oh, assignment. Safety. Is he like part of some kind of resistance? Crosby! You have to go to sleep. No, 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 I'm fine. That's an order. Now. I can't do it, Jack. I'm fine. Try yeah, he's gonna to pass sleep. out. I gotta get it yep. <laughs> D-Day. I'm your new CO, named Jeffrey. Oh yeah, he's also still there. Rosie. Rosie, Thank yeah. You, We're a few hours away from the invasion of Europe. It's like you don't recognize anyone anymore from the beginning. But like, if they would still be here, they already got to their 25th mission because even he did that. So, and the rest is just dead or prisoner. I have to say like, ever since like, Two episodes ago, I am so invested in the show. Well, the first like four episodes or something were like, yeah, I guess. Now I'm just like, damn, had a rough start, but it's going somewhere. Take a break. Come on, play some ball. Huh? No? Ball, Murph? No. Why don't you shut the hell up? What the hell is wrong with you? 
in the camp and I'm just in the way and says no baseball just work 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 that's all he wants to do sure. no 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 work work you got a stump to pull Keith he is such a child how's that how's that this must be the most lame fight I have ever seen <laughs> the way they're just sitting and they're like looks like the crowd's got some bad news oh they landed in there we're in western Europe Finally Show me yours. That's 23.7 acres of lob, lob, and pine. Man said he can hold it for me. To Munich. Now you know I can't toast to any mission with a loss of even a few bombers. We would take a look around this room, Lawrence. Oh, there he is. Yeah. This? <laughs> On mission counts alone, I see men who should already be captains, majors, and we both know why they're not, and we both know why they may never be. Hey, Daniels. Ha, ah, let's go. We need a four. Fonda's a cup though. <laughs> I want to see more of him. It's just like I, I've only ever seen him in sex education. And like Dari's like super gay and very feminine. So I'm very curious like how, how is he in this show? Pants for the hell of my pants! Come on, god damn it! 7.30 Saturday morning. <laughs> damn. You've been out of it for three days. What? I mean, I think it's, it's healthier if you would have just slept during the night <laughs> and just did your work during the day, but yeah, you know. And then the clouds parted, and you've never seen anything like it. Hundreds of ships, thousands of men. We hit bridges, communication centers, so the Germans weren't able to bring up any reinforcements. Ooh. And there wasn't a single Luftwaffe fighter in the air. The skies were ours. All from the routes you plotted, Harry. Daring tales of heroism not daring enough for you, Captain Marvel. Just, uh, I just can't believe I missed it. Mm. But it was made possible because of you. Where's the Vistula River? You yeah, see, this is what I mean. The timing is so weird. Like, they're not even showing anything. It's just like, he was telling it and we got like one shot and then suddenly it's two days later. But I also understand like seeing another fight in the air, it all kind of looks the same to be fair. So I also get why they sometimes skip it. Here, almost at Paris. Hitler's worst nightmare, a two-front war. With us, right between them. Crowds will slaughter us before they let us go. We won't go without a fight. German radar detection systems are mounted all along here. We are going to take them all out. Toulon is 473.51 miles away, and that is 947.2 miles round trip. The fuel range of our P-51s is only 999.8 miles. Not the drag coefficient plus the excess weight faster fuel, but... Yeah. No, 1,375 Damn, he's got his shit straight. That'll drop us a couple thousand pounds. We'll still fall hundreds of miles short. <laughs> That's what he meant with, you're a smart guy. You're right. This is going to be close. Not impossible. Try to make it back to friendly territory. Okay. Be able to blend in with the population. I do love blending in. <laughs> Are we Tuskegee men or what? Sir, yes, sir. Then let's take care of it. Okay. I think it's interesting to see, like, more people. This feels so risky. Like at first I thought they just really had to return to their own base and I was like, that's never gonna happen. But then they were like, yeah, friendly territory. But still, this is a risky thing. The hell? Oh, I really thought he was gonna like fly straight into him or like fly. He's not even flying anymore. Just got shot out of the air. Uh... Okay, okay. Sometimes I forget parachutes are a thing and I'm like, no, what the hell? How are they gonna get out of here? But yeah, that is enemy territory, so. I told you I saw another shoot. Mm. They got you too, huh? Who's that? Looks like you in bad shape. Oh, he's there too. Oh, no, 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 no. oh is. 
Has he been shot? You must have heard your neck. Hmm. What is happening there? Guard told me they were sending someone. We gotta get the man in shape. We gotta get these guys ready to fight. I don't know how to turn on that thing. It's hard work. It'll build the strength we need to resist. I have to thank you. These are my favorite. Ta da! <laughs> right. How are things in the States? Alexander Jefferson, second lieutenant, 081961. Let's not be so formal, Jeff. Do they all have the same methods? I feel as if I already <laughs> understand you. Yeah, just like the other guy. How did you hurt your neck? Yeah, there's something with his neck, but he wasn't shot, right? Second Lieutenant 0821916. Maybe just like, uh, what do you I call it? Guess. Something like a whiplash? Is that a thing I in a plane? Remember. Yeah, probably. You must know it. Alexander Jefferson, Second Lieutenant. Oh, okay, they're really not giving away anything. Place in Los Angeles where all you blacks are forced to live. Why do you fight for a country who treats you like that? I mean, they would probably treat you the same there. So, bold move to that. use that. Yeah, exactly what I said. When my country shortcomings are to become what it says it's supposed to be, I'm gonna help them do that a lot faster. Pretty smart answer. Oh, they're there too now. Oh, he, his neck is really not well. Where are you from? Where are you coming from? You look like a goddamn cripple. You look like a goddamn soldier. Tell him. I, th I think you really need some pain medication, though. Second Lieutenant Alexander Jefferson, 332nd Fighter Group. Second Lieutenant Richard B. Megan. Welcome to paradise. <laughs> Follow suit, Lieutenant. Our own little paradise. Ah, oh, Christ. It's cold. <coughs> you play Murph now? You went above and beyond, Cross. You're getting a month off. <laughs> Don't think he wants oh, that. Yeah. Starting tomorrow. Is this my choice? Because I kind of feel as if we need you functional. We need you to get a real vacation. You're too important to us. Fair. I've explained three times. I'm a friend. I've been calling for a couple of days now. Captain, not available, sir. Hey, Captain? Will you tell her I'm going to be my last time in London? Thank you. I wonder if she's gonna reach out then. Probably, but Captain, okay. I'm telling you, it could work. Well, even if we get the truck and even if we recruit one of those white boys to drive it. Two. Two white boys in Nazi uniforms. It took us four days to get here from Frankfurt. It ain't like we could just stop all of a sudden. These people have been here for eight months, some even longer, so don't feel your chances are that high. But I mean, Egan is also eager to escape. And then Bok will probably help too, so I think they're gonna be the two white boys <laughs> they're talking about right now. This... this is just another creepy wet dream. Damn, he's a really good drawer though. You flew P-51s, P-39s, P-40s, P-47s, P-51s, A-260s. Been building model planes since I was a kid. Oh, then I get why I would go for this position in the war. <laughs> you draw this? Yes, sir. Is this the scale? Uh, more or less, you know, you know, we could use your help. I mean, they also need help, so maybe you could help I mean, each other. I got a plan for that. What would you need me to do? This. We need help charting the area to get out of here. Okay, so maybe they finally got like a chance now. At least a yeah, chance to you. of a plan. Why didn't you gripe about us bunking an eight? <sighs> well, let's just say I at least knew you weren't spies. Ain't that a bitch. Major, Honey Palm Group. Everybody calls me Buck. Okay, nice. Second Lieutenant Alexander Jefferson. You can call me Alex. See that way? Sending your gravity got more leverage. I think his neck is doing a little better. At least he's just like having his head up straight instead of like this. <laughs> a message from the lady to meet at the hotel, sir. Okay, so she did respond. I think we, we have to find out what she's like really doing this episode, right? Can't keep it a mystery forever, but I mean they kept the Buck mystery, if he was alive or dead, a mystery forever too, so yeah. Is it not gonna be Sandra? Sandra, come out or I'm coming in. <laughs> Sandra. What is up? Oh. Sorry, Cross. I've been called away once again, probably for the better. You belong with Jean, and we've still got a war to win. Love, Sandra. 
Okay. She does have a point, but I was kind of hoping for like an open conversation this time and we would find out what she's doing. But yeah, I didn't think she was going to tell it anyway because it's really secret. It'll be good for you. What's that supposed to mean? It means I think it'll be good for you. He's taking it all so personal. Yeah, how long has he not seen her now? It's not the same. Uh, Nothing's the same, Kraus. Nothing. Never will be. I tell the truth. So that's what he's scared of. Look. Lights out. They're close. Really close. Oh! Was that it? What? Okay, I'm just gonna watch the next one because I didn't see this coming. Oh shit. Nuremberg. Oh, Nuremberg. Oh. Oh, this looks good. But yeah, this is gonna be the final episode, of course. We make a run for it tonight. Okay, but then we know at least they're gonna get out. But how and in what way? No idea. Okay, uh, sorry, I normally don't watch the, the next time on. But suddenly the episode was over and I really didn't see it coming and I was so like invested. So like, let's just watch this too. So yeah, I have to say I really went from, okay, let's just check this show out because it's from the same producers as Band of Brothers and The Pacific to, I don't really know if I like this show to, hmm, this is getting interesting and to now being like really invested to be honest. So I have to say I'm so excited for the last episode, especially because I just saw that that next time on, it looked good. It looked very interesting and i have to say like i keep doing it every episode but i'm gonna make another comparison between uh band of brothers and the pacific and this show in those shows i feel like we see battles every episode and it works for those shows only here like i said before during the episode i feel like the fights in the air they all kind of look the same like of course different people die maybe different things happen different problems happen but I think it's not that interesting to show it every episode. And I think the producers really realize this well. And that that's also the reason why they sometimes, uh, yeah, skip the fights. Um, and just kind of give us a recap of what happened. But that also results into us not seeing a lot of action during the show. Um, like, for example, now, now we did see one of the fights uh, from, like, the new division we saw. But there were some, like, episodes where, like battles happened but we didn't see any of it and then after it was just like oh yeah this person died this, this person died but now i see this like this next time on for the for the next episode for the finale and it looked intense i feel like all of that stuff that we kind of i don't know like missed during the other episodes i think that's like gonna make up for it now i say it like it's a negative thing but i don't really know how to explain it better like i didn't miss it necessarily but it was like way less battles than you would expect i think because you are still watching a war show and it's not like a battle is gonna make the episodes you know but i i think yeah you get what i mean it's just like you expect it you don't really get it it's fine but i feel like in the last episode a lot is gonna happen so i'm very excited about that yeah first of all i think it was so interesting to see this other uh, division i was constantly wondering like why we saw him like in the intro constantly like so like, the shot was so up close, like, oh, these three people are important. But now I get, like, these were the three people from that division who actually, like, got shot down, got out, and got into the camp with Egan and Buck. Um, and that's why they showed them. Yeah, and it's just interesting for their escape plan now. Like, at first I, I was thinking, like, okay, sure. I was kind of waiting for, for that actor because, like, I know him from Sex Education and he's a really fun character there. And I also think he's a very good actor. Like I said, he, he was also recently... Or is he still in Doctor Who? Like I said, I never watched that, but I think he's like the new Doctor or something. So I was just like, okay, I'm looking forward to seeing him in the show. But then we saw this division. I was like, okay, pretty random. Like, of course, they explained in the beginning that in the, in the meantime, that division was fighting there among others. So it's like, okay, yeah, we're just gonna see them. But why? It's, it is pretty random. And then I realized, ah, they're, they crashed there. They're like part of this story. So... That's why. So yeah, I'm very curious how they're gonna escape. Yeah, I think it's gonna be pretty exciting. And I also decided to look up Sandra real quick because um, it is very vague how they're explaining it about her. But I think she, I like my idea was 
she's in kind of like some secret resistance or something like that. But when I, I search her, um, first of all, it says that she was not a real person, but that she was inspired on a real person who is called Landra. <laughs> So they really like took Landra and they were like, Sandra. <laughs> That's kind of funny. It, it gets even better. The real person was called Landra Wingate. And the character is called Sandra Westgate. <laughs> Very original. <laughs> but here I see a lot of sites saying like that they think she is a spy. Considering how quickly she had to leave Oxford at the end of episode 6, it is likely that her job is fairly important and that she plays a significant role in it. It also says here that, that Crosby barely knew who she was in real life. So I think they also translated that pretty well then, because she's so secretive and then he returns and he only finds this note. So that's kind of how it was in the show as well indeed. People, some viewers have even suggested that she could be Princess Elizabeth. She isn't. <laughs> Yeah, so like what I'm reading here online, it all says like no one is really sure what it is right now, but most uh, sites they're saying like she's probably like a, a spy or something. Okay, so let's just think that then. Oh, this is also like some additional information I think I, I should know, like the Tuskegee Airmen. It says here that before the Tuskegee Airmen, uh, like no black American had ever been in US military. So uh, that is pretty interesting. I don't know if that was uh, set in the show or if they kind of hinted towards it, but if they did, I missed that. But that's why I'm kind of doing like an extra bit of research right now. Like I want to get everything right, also about Sandra's job and all that. But yeah, that's very interesting. And I also just uh, saw that in 1995, they made an HBO show um, based on them. So there's apparently already like a show about that. So that's pretty cool. Hmm. Then I think it's even like more cool that they included it in the show because to me at first, it, like I said, it felt really random. But then when you realize, oh, they were like the first African-American, uh, yeah, Air Force soldiers um, ever, then that's pretty interesting. Or did it like say in the, the whole US army? Oh, never mind. It's a movie. I thought it was a show. And I think it's called uh, Fighting 19... Ninth. I mean, that's good to know. I'd rather do some extra research in case I miss something than that I'm just like stating false facts or something. Yeah, what else do we see? I think like Crosby, that he was like really sleep deprived and I think it's it's good that he is going on a month leave. Um, also wondering what it's gonna be like with his wife because when he said in the end like, what if it's not gonna be the same? And then I was like, okay, I, I see. I feel like there's like a little fear there and that might also be part of the reason why he like slept with Sandra and he was he was like so attached to her. Like even when she left, he kept calling her and, and I'm like, okay, I think he kind of got like feelings for her probably then or just like really wanted to see her. Um, but we've never seen him like call his own wife or anything. And then I was like, oh, okay. I think maybe there's a certain fear there or something then. So I wonder if we're gonna see anything about that, but I don't know, we might also just see like, oh, a month has passed, he's back. You know, that's kind of how the show goes. Not really complaining about that. Like honestly, the, the timelines, they, they come kind of random to me. It's like, oh, and suddenly they're like eight months have passed. And it's like, okay, as long as you just tell me that, so I can take that into account, um, but it is pretty random sometimes. But I also understand because they're trying to put five years into nine episodes. And uh, yeah, I also have to say that now that we got to know like a bit, not that much more, but a bit more about Sandra, uh, I got to say like the statement I was trying to make in the last episode, um, that still stands, um, if you understand it. Like I was never saying they shouldn't have sex. Like, I don't have to agree with any of that, but I mean, their lives, their choices, fine. Um, but like the point I was trying to make, shows like this, also the Banner Brothers, the Pacific, that they never just show a woman, like introduce a woman into a show who did something good in the war, who like helped in a really good way, because there were enough women who just like did their part, you know? I have to say with like, showing us that she had like a pretty important job and in the end, that she chose the importance of her job and actually kind of did something right by saying like, you belong with your wife. I think that did kind of like, that felt good to me in a way like, okay. So last episode I was like, 
oh, can we never just see a woman without her having to have sex with a man? But she did have an interesting role. The only thing I'm just still thinking about is like the only reason we got to see her is because Crosby met her and had sex with her. Uh, but in the end, we did get to see like, okay, she was doing something important in this war. And that was exactly what I was aiming towards. So I do think in the end, of course, it's like based on real events. So uh, they, they can't like do a lot about that storyline. Um, but... In the end, I think they handled it well. And I think they handled it better than I expected they would. Because for me, it was really like, last episode, the moment we suddenly saw them have sex, I was like, ah, oh, all hope is gone. Oh, we're never just gonna see a woman do a good job in the war or show her what she's worth, you know? No, it's just about this. But I have to say, they did handle that pretty well in this episode. So I'm happy about that. I think the show is doing a good job up to now. Uh, I'm very excited for the finale. I'm very curious what you guys thought of this episode. So let me know in the comments down below. And if you want to see my full reaction to this episode, you can check out my Patreon. The link's in the description. And if you like my reaction, then please leave a like subscribe and then i really hope to see you next week at the finale bye